am Alina Sherban. I am a storyteller. I uh, use theater and film and other forms of art to tell stories about my community, which is Roma community. In order for me to heal, to give healing to my family and then to my ancestors. As you probably know, um, the Roma community suffers and has suffered a lot during the centuries. And um, I started to tell these stories because I didn't find myself in, um, in cartoons. I didn't find myself in, um, in newspapers. I didn't find myself in, any, in anything. But everything that I was hearing was that I was bad, that my family was bad, that we somehow um, are sinful, are, are not uh, pure as others. So this was a contradiction with what I was seeing in my family, with what I was seeing in my mom, with what I was seeing um, in other Roma people that were not my family. And I said, I need to tell my story. I need to tell others that you are wrong, that we are humans, first of all. We are just like you. It's just that history, racism, a systemic racism, has placed us f f far from the resources that some people are accustomed to. So we are starting way, way behind. So it's obviously harder for me to consider to have anything that you already had. My normal is something that uh, for other people is a given. You already have it. Some Roma people like myself dream of a respect, of dignity, of even normal conditions of living, like having a secure pillow, water, running water to wash your hands. This shouldn't be a dream to anybody. Kids shouldn't find impossible uh, the dream of going to university. But this is the reality and this was my reality as well. There was a time when I didn't had nothing. But still, I had a mom that was telling me that I deserve respect, that I also should dare to dream, that n even though we don't have uh, hot water and electricity and I would not even afford jeans like other girls at school, that I too am valuable and I should demand respect and I should respect as well other people, that I am not less than anybody and I'm not superior to, any, to anybody. So I, uh, all my life, I, I based myself on this idea I, of imagination. Because I, I did not look at what I didn't have around me. Yes, my reality was telling me, you will never make it. And I am the first one in my family to, to graduate high school. And even though even harder things happened to me and we lost our house and I didn't have my mom around me and my dad died, I managed to, to go to the acting university here to put the imagination I was using already into stories so I can give myself the healing I needed and to build this bridge between us so we can meet somewhere in between and say, oh, you were like me too. Are you crying for what I'm crying too? Oh, this is why I believe in art, that art can, can create a change. And even though it sounded impossible for a person like me coming from a hut made of manure, I managed to go to the best acting schools in the world at New York University and then at Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. I'm, I, am, I am so happy to say this 
because there were not just Roma people that believe in me, believed in me, but also many, many non-Roma people that became allies. And I think this is what we need. We need people to um, understand their privilege and how they, they might have good intentions. They are not guilty of having that privilege, but to be able to share that with other people that, as I said, don't have the minimum of what they have. I myself understand that I am more privileged than other Roma girls in my family. As I said many times, I am not more, I'm not smarter, more beautiful than them. It's just that I had some, some chances that led me where I am. And I chose acting, I, I think, because it's my way to ask people to put themselves in my shoes, to think, oh, what is like to be very little and people to call you a crow? What is that like? Just a small girl, imagine that. How would you feel? How would you feel if even at my age, after I represented my country at the Cannes Film Festival, somebody called me, uh, said to me, I'm not colored, I don't talk to gypsies on the street, even though I didn't do anything to him. So the realization that because you are a Roma equals you're not human is very harmful and dangerous considering the history of how uh, the idea, the false idea that someone can be superior to someone else due to uh, other ethnic background or color or religion or... It's very harmful and we should never forget this. As an artist today, after graduating Royal Academy, after going through so many uh, achievements, still being a Roma woman director and the first one in Romania to do this, I am not equal. I am still not equal to anybody. In any contest you will put me, artistic-wise, yes, I do have the CV. I do put the work many times, ten, 10 times more than others to, to reach that. But guess what? I am not their equal. I am still here. It would take me still more than 100 years to reach a certain equality. So let's not fool ourselves that equality is such a thing. Yes, we can work towards it and we should not rest. But the idea of diverse, diversity and inclusion, it's more complex than that. I will leave you with something positive. Many times. <sighs> Many times. I ask myself why I do this. Why continue when misogyny, racism, inequality are putting me down all the time? And even my mom says, why are you doing this to yourself? I am worried. And I always say, mom, just another project and I will stop. Just another project. And I continue because at the end of a performance, at the end of a film I'm making, a film that I put 
all my tears in, all my blood and sweat. A theater play that I produced, that nobody came and said, here Alina Sherban funding. No, no, no. I am funding myself. I am coming with my own chair, built my, by myself. I am creating space and making the space for Roma stories. And at the end of the suffering, what I see is that the normal people, the public, the public that just arrived in the room, they open their hearts. They open, they open their hearts and they, they receive me there. And I receive them too in my heart. And that's again the moment of when we meet on that bridge. And when I see the light in their eyes and that they see me as a human, finally, that they see my people as humans and that we see each other and recognize each other's humanity, that's magic. That's something that you cannot buy. And that's why I'm continuing. Because I believe that if one person in all these 12 years of my work has reconsidered their prejudice, I can continue maybe with another project.